Okay, so I'm going to do a um, review here of the differences between the GTR V2 2022 and the original GTR V2. However, I don't actually have a GT V2 original in my possession. What I've got is a GTR. Now, they're basically the, the same except the GTR V2 has an extra motor. Um, otherwise, they're very similar. Um, of course, the GTR V2 has an extra two springs on the front, so it's quad spring rather than twin spring. Um, otherwise, the two are very similar. So I'm going to use the GTR to, um, where it's the same as the GTR V2 to demonstrate the difference between the GTR V2 and the GTR V2 2022. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to start with the handlebars. So, going over to the GTR, and same on the GTR V2 original, um, we have this collar uh, mechanism for collapsing the handlebars. So, that collapses it, and when you lift it back up, it pops into place. Uh, now, you've also got an adjustment collapsing it again inside here you see that adjustable screw so you adjust that lug nut to a height at which it means you can close the handlebar but only just which means that it's nice and tight see how that only just pops into place if I tighten that lug nut anymore I wouldn't be able to lift the handlebar up and close it so that actually tightens the spacing between the bar and the the head um, such that it doesn't wobble now that one's got a tiny little bit of wobble in it I could adjust the lug nut a little more this one's got no wobble at all it's firm so what that makes for is a nice solid uh, riding experience without too much uh, play in the handlebars and that actually works quite well I think one of the criticisms of it is that these collars can be a bit loose. So on the GTR V2 2022, they've made these collars screw in. So not only can they pop out to collapse the bar, you can also screw them to tighten them. So let me show you how that works on the, on the GTR V2 2022. Okay, so ignore my accoutrements. Um, so here's the collar here. Let's have a look at the other side where it's not fouled by the bell. Um, okay, so here's the collar here. So to undo it, we have to unscrew it. So you unscrew it as far as it can go. Okay, nearly there. Okay, so that's unscrewed. Then you slide it as on the GTR V22 and collapse the bars. And as you can see, there's the um, adjustable lug nut inside there too. So pop it up, the collar slips into place, then you screw the collar tight. And if you want to remove all the play from the handlebars, not only do you tighten that lug nut, but you can tighten this collar as well until it's as tight as it can go and then there's no play in the bars now this system seems uh, foolproof on the surface but what I've found is that after a few minutes of riding this collar loosens off somewhat and it reintroduces the the looseness into the handlebars uh, even with the lug nut adjusted out. So I want to play with this a little bit more, see if I can get the adjustment of that lug nut inside the elbow just right, and hopefully eliminate that play from recurring. But as of at this moment, um, I'm finding that these collars unscrew themselves through riding. Uh, one thing I've considered doing is putting a hose clamp here when it's as tight as it can go, locking a hose clamp down there as tight as I can in the hope that it'll stop this from unwinding itself um, and that might keep it nice and tight. The problem is then that obviously it becomes difficult to collapse the, the steering uh, for, for transport. So anyway, um, 
I still consider that an improvement though a part of me is wondering whether I might not swap these bars onto the GTR V22 um, just because I've managed to get these tight and to remain tight even through a whole ride um, so it's something I'm just pondering at the moment Okay, so depending, uh, the differences between the GTR V2 2022 and my GTR, and I'm not sure if this applies to the original GTR V2, but I've got these grips here. Um, there's nothing holding them tight, they get a bit loose. Um, whereas these here have this uh, locking uh, ring, which is, as you can see is loose, so I need to tighten that. Um, to hold these grips in place plus they have a bit of a shelf to put your palm on um, again I'm actually contemplating replacing these with cylindrical version still with this locking collar but with a cylindrical version not with this shelf because I kind of prefer to have to be able to wrap my hand all the way around I find it a more comfortable ride, easier to get a good grip, and you know that's because I've got small hands. So, um, oh yes, uh, I've what I say upgraded the bell, uh, the alert because no one ever recognises the horn. You can beep that horn till the cows come home, and people don't even hear you. They don't pay any attention. Everyone knows what a bike bell means. So when I'm on paths, I use the bike bell. Um, seem to get more attention okay um, moving on um, oh, something I just wanted to mention it's difficult to fit uh, extenders because the the bar at the head there is elongated it's not it's oval shape not a perfectly cylindrical shape um, but I managed to get it on there by adjusting my um, the way of fixing it I'll I'll do a video on that for anyone interested but that's neither here nor there okay so moving down now on the on the GTR V22 uh, the original GTR V2 and on my GTR obviously the stem is adjustable but only it only has three stops so you can you can undo this collapse the bar down to either of those three stops. Um, I found, found the higher setting perfect for me, so it was, I've never really had an issue with that. But some people like being able to finitely adjust it in whatever increment they desire, and that's that's good. It's good that you can do that on the, on the V2 22, 2022. I'll, I'll show you that in a sec. Um, so, so that's good. Plus also, I actually find it difficult to to get to press that in. Uh, it's just sometimes a real pain. So it's actually nice to be able to just undo the head and and lift it out uh, as you can on the V20 V2 2022. So just going around to show you that. Of course, I've got all my accoutrements in the way. Um, so here's the here's the adjustment. You just pop that out. Slide the stem up and down to whatever position you want and nothing in the front here to make it difficult okay now moving on down the stem this is fantastic this is probably my favorite um, upgrade of this model um, this nice collar here so you've got a nice very very stiff um, join between the headset and the stem um, and just showing you on the and this will be the same on the original GTV2. You see these two um, hex nuts here. Now there, the diameter of the shafts of, the, of those is actually smaller than the holes that they're in. So you get this, see that, that wobble? That's not from the headset. That's where the shaft, the stem connects to the top shaft of the headset. It, it's, it, it wobbles. This is tight, it's not, it's not the adjustment of the headset. It's, it's in the actual, the, these are too small for the holes that they're in. So there's that play there. That's very unnerving. When you get to the top, you're talking like almost two centimeters of play. 
it's ridiculous um, that's a major major flaw in my book so um, the this huge massive collar from the GTR V2 2022 fixes that you know, 100% it's just solid so major improvement there now moving down we have these wonderful air shocks um, okay so the GTR V2 20, uh, original has the quad shock arrangement um, my GTR only has a single shot shocks single or rather dual shocks uh, and when I first got it it was quite stiff but eventually they wore in and it's now brilliant I'd say I love off-riding this um, GTR it's so comfortable um, and the, the springs are perfect now but um, complaints of the the original GTR V2 was that the quad shocks were just too stiff and it was just uncomfortable, ridiculously uncomfortable to ride. These air shocks solve that problem 100%. They're beautiful. Um, it's it's uh, very comfortable to ride and you can go over bumps, there's no harsh vibrations or anything. It's just perfect. So um, good move there. Okay, moving along. So we have this, a different stand set up. Um, this is in the middle um, and it's aluminium, a uh, nice solid alloy rather, um, compared to this uh, thin arrangement which is also alloy but it's not as solid. Now what I've found is if you see that on my GTR, um, that, that stand is starting to bend and every time you bend it back into position it weakens a little bit so it's going to snap off eventually um, that's no good you need to be able to pop your stand down and rely, rely on it um, and this this one is definitely reliable so much better stand arrangement um, okay now another another change um, is in the lights so let me just turn it on so we've got a white side light here compared to the original GTR V2 which has um, flashing red red and blue um, which just attracts the attention of the cops um, I mean I don't think cops are going to appreciate seeing someone ride along with red and blue flashing lights they're going to pull you up and ask you questions at the least um, and who needs that kind of attention so they've sensibly changed it to flashing white I really wish you could turn the side lights off automatically or have them on a slow flash, not, not a fast flash like that. Um, just, a, just a nice slow flash like a, um, a rear light on a bike. But um, I might investigate that anyway. I can't sh can show you the comparison of those lights with my GTR because I removed the side lights from my GTR just because they were too red and blue. Um, I removed them completely. I took the deck off and unclipped them. Um, so I've got nothing on the side of that. Um, so anyway, that's that. Okay. So moving to the back. So whole new swing arm. Everything is different here. Um, the swing arms are solid uh, alloy, um, sol solid alloy frame, as opposed to the the GTR V2 and GTR, which have this uh, stamped steel bracket. Uh, I think both are adequately strong, but uh, this, this one on the GTR V 20, uh, 2022 is obviously much stronger. Um, and on top of that, it's got a big thick shock um, down, right down the middle, a single, uh, single spring um, on the, on, on, mounted in the middle of the swing arm. Uh, a heavier duty spring to account for the fact there's only one of them. And I think that overall it's much better than the dual shock assembly on the GTR uh, V20, uh, V2 original. Um, the other obvious difference is that uh, the back footrest. Okay, this footrest on the GTR and the GTR V2 original looks, you know, more than adequate. But people through experience found that it was too easy to bend it because uh, it's just not really sturdy enough to stand on whereas this one you can stand on it no worries uh, 
satisfaction. Now, probably my only my only complaint about the changes here, or two complaints about the changes here. So on this one, um, you can't pick it up as easily from the rear as you can the original. You can go here and there or there, but then that cuts into your fingers. You can go here, uh, but it's not quite as convenient as lifting from that lifting point. Um, and the other thing, and this is pretty major, and I don't know what I'm going to do about this uh, or whether I'll bother, but this does not protect the back of your shirt from mud splatters, whereas this does. I can ride this in the wet and mud and I don't get any splatters on me. It, this, this, the GTR, presumably the GTR V2 original, protects you from the splatters, from water flip and mud flipping up from the back wheel. Whereas when I've ridden this in the wet, um, or on wet paths, not in the rain, but on wet paths, this just splashes up, goes straight past and hits you, hits you on the back. So um, that's actually probably my only real major criticism of this in terms of um, testing. They've failed to pick up on the fact that this mud guard does not protect you, um, which Mean, means okay it's great off-road until it's any kind of wetness on the ground and then it just gets all over the back of your clothes and of course the only other thing that I'd come you know disadvantage is that those knuckles those collars don't stay tight um, so we'll see what we can do about that but um, okay so th those are the differences um, other than a few minor kind of cosmetic differences, um, like the deck slightly different, well it's not cosmetic but practically the shape of the desk, deck is di slightly different at the back to accommodate the new mudguard and swing arm assembly. But um, otherwise um, they're pretty much the same thing and all, all, those, all those aside, so this isn't a review on the GTR V2 2022 itself it's more of a review on the differences between the two but I'd have to say that I would definitely prefer the the new one um, but I'll be looking at ways to improve those two things that I've mentioned that I'm not too happy with uh, oh one more thing to mention worth mentioning the differences between the two so on the GTR V2 original, um, your tail light was up the back there. Um, actually, it's susceptible to getting wet there inside, underneath, which can cause it to short out. Um, I've never, it's never caused any long-term problems, but sometimes after a wet ride, that light stays on until it dries out. Um, whereas here, um, your brake lights are at the side there. Um, so they're not in the path of, of escaping water. Um, so you should expect that to be more durable. Um, yeah, and that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Okay, so one thing I left off of that um, Compero. Uh, one quite a, an important thing actually, because it represents a, a great improvement um, in the GTR V2 20. 22 over the original and that is that the display is much brighter um, this can at first be a bit disconcerting in in, um, in a dark area or a, or a shaded area because it seems to almost glare at you and distract you but once you get out in the sunlight it becomes evident that that is really very very good um, one of the main problems of the previous display is that it was very difficult to see in direct sunlight. Um, this new screen, with new display with a complete, which is completely backlit, not just the characters. So you can really see it in, in all conditions, regardless of where the sun's point, even in direct sunlight. And, and this is actually a very important improvement and um, have to uh, applaud uh, BSC for, for doing this. It's great.